Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm very excited because in today's video, I'm going to be opening up and unboxing my second pair of Bordone boots. Bordone is a new brand. They're made in Colombia, 100%. This is my second pair. This is the Tucano boot in black. So let's open her up. This is a an awesome unboxing experience. Uh, Andres does a really good job with his box. So on the inside, it, it describes the brand and it describes everything about how it's proudly handcrafted in Colombia, gives steps for shoe care, it says that this is a pure aniline full grain leather. You should only use natural shoe cream. We recommend Saphir. Do not use products that contain petroleum. Yeah, lots of good guidance on the inside of the box there. All right. And so this is something that's always really cool to find is Andres provides a keychain, a key fob made of leather, full grain leather from the waist of the boots. It's complimentary, no extra charge. He just throws that in as a nice added touch. I think that I think boot brands that add in the nice added touches do well. Similar to Grant Stone. I think I think brands that understand that nailing the unboxing experience is kind of crucial to keeping the addiction alive. <laughs> when you get a new pair of boots and you got all this added stuff, all the all these bonus surprises in there, it really lends itself to such an amazing experience. It makes it feels like Christmas morning and it makes you want to relive that moment again and again, especially when it's something like this, something you know, useful and beautiful. I really like that. Yeah, this is an updated version from the last one that I I got. The last one's it's, it's more of a teardrop shape and it's thinner. This is actually like, yeah, three or four different layers of leather. And what that indicates to me is that there is no set design for the key fob. It's just spontaneous, like whatever they have waist-wise, they will craft by hand in the moment a key fob out of that. And I think that's really cool. So, so this also came with Bordeaux Premium Beeswax and What's cool about this is this is black to match the boots. So it is pigmented. Definitely keep that handy in the future. These boot bags are a lot higher quality. These are like a lot softer, a lot more velvety feeling, a lot more of a luxurious feel. Very good. And I get so much use out of these boot bags. Like when I travel, I usually pack a pair of boots and throw a pair of boots into my backpack. And when I do that, I throw my boots into a boot bag like this. And look at those, beautiful. Ah, let's talk about these boots a little bit. So uh, first off, they smell incredible. I don't know what they're doing to make these boots smell so good <laughs> out of the box, but, but yeah, a really clean, fresh, aromatic smell coming out of there. So this is the Tucano boot in black. Uh, it's different from the last pair that I got. I'll talk about that. So this is a, this is stitch down construction, double row. We've got a full grain drum dyed pure aniline Italian leather. The color is black. The lining is fully semi aniline Italian calf leather. The insole is Colombian vegetable tanned leather. The midsole is the same Colombian vegetable tanned leather. Outsole is Vibram Eton rubber sole. Fitting is EUE, which is medium. Note, your boots are 100% made with real leather. As a result, your boots may have cosmetic imperfections, such as minor scratches or blemishes on the leather, as well as a non-uniform color throughout the boot. This is natural material with natural finishing with the intention of appreciating the wildlife of the animal. I'm very impressed with these boots. First off, uh, for the sizing on this pair, on the first run, Andres recommended going true to size, which, was, which meant for me, I'm a size standard US size nine, so in European sizes, I take a size 42. For this run, because it's stitched down, Andres recommended going a half down from that. So this pair in particular is a 41 and a half. So I haven't thrown them on yet, but I could already tell that these are gonna work. This is my first pair. It's called the Tucano Waxy and Dark Brown with the Eton sole. This pair is true, true to size. So I will say that I could, like this is a little bit more of an, more narrow last that they're using. Because I went true to size, I could still wear these comfortably with like a full weight sock, for example. And what else is really cool, I didn't realize this, but he puts Celastic in the toe 
to really reinforce it. So like you see, I can't, I can't bend that down. The toe's really reinforced and he did a 360 degree Goodyear welt, storm welt. Absolutely beautiful. On this pair, it is double row stitch down welt, which a lot of guys really appreciate the stitch down. I could go either way on that. I like both. I like the look of both. I think Goodyear welt is actually, in my opinion, looks a little bit better, but I know that there are guys that just love, that they think anything other than stitch down welt is ugly. And uh, I can definitely appreciate that. I think, uh, I think it is a beautiful stitching, a beautiful construction. For some reason, I don't know why, but some people just don't like this, the storm welt. I really like it. I think it adds a really cool, like unique vibe to the boot. For all intents and purposes though, it's merely cosmetic. This is gonna be a half size down, so you could tell. Let me compare the left boot to the left boot. Not, not a huge, huge difference. I could tell that the black ones are just a little shorter. You can see the bottom too. Yeah. So, so both sizes are definitely gonna work. Again, I, I didn't try them on yet because I wanna get uh, shots of them first. But yeah, so I'll be able to wear this with you know, similar to like my Truman boots, similar to how like I'm between sizes in a lot of brands, like like in Truman, for example, I'll do eight and a half most of the time. Sometimes I'll do a size nine if it's gonna be a lower volume last. Uh, Truman uses a lot of full volume lasts, like their 79 last and their 20 last. This shape, this last is gonna be a, I personally would classify this as a lower volume last, similar to the Parkhurst, I would say is a low volume last. You see, you've got the, You've got the unstructured toe here, almond shape. It is nice and generous in here, but for the most part, it's kind of flat up top. You see the walls aren't raised, unlike the Grant Stone. So on the Grant Stone brass boot, you can see the walls are sort of raised. This is a very high volume last. This is called the Floyd last, very high volume. Now, when you compare that to the Bordone, you can see the Bordone just look a little bit more sleek and are thus, I would classify these as a lower volume last, mostly in the vamp there and in the, in the toe box there, you can see it's just kind of collapsed there. These are Grant Stone's eight and a half. These are the Bordon Tucano in size 42. So this is what I'm talking about. Like Grant Stone runs a half size large, Bordon is true to size. I'm typically a US nine. I size down a half for the Grant Stone. Some people could size down a full size. What I'm getting at is uh, because I vacillate I could vacillate between an eight and a half and a nine in Truman, I would apply those same standards to Bordone. So for example, I could go true to size or I could go a half down to 41 and a half. Both will work. It's just one's gonna work with thicker socks, one's gonna work with thinner socks, and but both work. It's gonna extend your heel to ball a little bit when you go longer in length, but for the purposes of my foot, I have a high volume foot, so I fill out this boot mostly, like especially in the width here because this is a Colombian, so this these were made in Colombia. The last that they use is gonna be based off of lasts typically used in the Iberian Peninsula. Talking to Andres during our real boot talk, he was saying that this is actually a, he what he considers to be a, a very, very chunky last. And I, I thought that was funny because in America, with American boots, this is this is the type of thing more designed for an American foot type here. So this is the Alden True Balance last, the Innsbruck Indian Brown Chrome XL. Just buff those out. So you could see the difference in fullness here, right? So this is size eight and a half in the Alden Indy, and you just see how wide that is there at the toe. That's what I think about when I think about a typical American last right there. Real rounded out, real full, real full fitting. I just, I thought it was funny that Andres considered this to be a very full fitting boot. And it is, like, don't get me wrong. The Tucano boot last is just gonna be a little bit more on the on the European side. And when I say European, I'm not talking about UK or Germany or anything like that. I'm talking about like Spain, Portugal, Italy, where you typically see those really sleek lasts coming out of those regions. It's because the, the average foot in those re regions are a lot more thin, a lot more low volume. I have a high volume foot, so, most of my approach to boot sizing is because of that. And because I have a wider foot, kind of a higher instep, kind of a little bit of a raised arch there. So I am very impressed 
with these boots. And what else is really cool about these is, I don't know if the camera could capture it here, but I got shots of it outside. They embossed the letters Bordon on the, on the shaft here. And so we've got pull tab here, back heel strip, back heel stay, very well done, very intricate stitching, triple stitched down onto the quarter. We've got five eyelets, three speed hooks, very nice. I like the three speed hooks look. Most of my boots only have two speed hooks at the top. I actually like the three speed hooks. I think that looks sharp. Vibram Eton outsole, a micro studded sole, similar to day night, double stitched cap toe in the vamp and overall just a beautiful boot a beautiful city boot this boot i actually took into the city to get pictures of and get some footage of because i just i feel like this this to me looks like the idyllic boot for like city walking like going out to dinner in the city taking your gal out for a night on the town particular to me you know walking around the inner harbor or like i imagine these in new york city like getting on the subway Look at, you know, you'd be the sharpest guy in the subway wearing these. <laughs> so this is going to be a perfect boot for like taking into the office, especially like in the city on rainy days to work or out on a date or out to dinner or shopping or to the movies or anything like that. It's, it just has a really metropolitan vibe to me and I really like it. What else I really like about the Bordeaux shape, it's, it's got a really beautiful aesthetic about it. Back here you see the curvature along the back heel stay. On, on the heel counter, it curves in real nice. I think that's really sharp. You contrast that with a uh, brand like Parkhurst, it doesn't have as dramatic of a curvature here. Yeah, same with Grantstone, it's there, but it's not as it's not as elegant, I guess. And these are just different styles. This isn't a knock against any particular particular brand. Sorry, I'm just gra grabbing random things. Yeah, see on the Alden, it's, it's kind of more blunt, I guess I would describe it as on the back heel stay, whereas, on the Bordones, it's it's very yeah it's very sleek yet yet manly at the same time I think it looks great good amount of volume here it's not it the instep doesn't doesn't slice down typically like I normally see a lot of these types of lasts the lower volume lasts from from Europe I, I notice in a lot of cases the curvature on the instep slices down this actually has a good amount of volume here on the instep. So I'm very excited to start wearing these. The price on these, 278, great price. That is a phenomenal price for these. That puts them price range in line with, I believe like Thursday boot, Taft boots, but in my opinion, these are these are gonna be a cut above. Andres also special sources these leathers from Italy. He has not divulged the tannery and I will not ask him. <laughs> but what I do know is he, he works with them closely to develop these leathers for his own brand, which I think is really cool. He's really doing this, building this from the ground up. Another thing that I really like about his boots in particular is the orange lining interior. I think that is so sharp. It really, you know, this looks like such a, such a classy boot. Then you open it up and it's a party inside. <laughs> I think that's a great, <laughs> I think that really gives a lot of personality to the brand. So another thing I'll mention is this Bordeaux logo here supposed to depict the sun. Uh, Andres described it in our Real Boot Talk. You can check that out. I did a Real Bo Boot Talk with Andres a couple months ago. He, he described it all in detail. Uh, I loved it. And we actually got a look inside his shop in that Real Boot Talk as well. That was, that was really awesome. One thing that I wanted to mention is that his third run of pre-orders is opening up at the end of the month. They don't do typical the typical thing where they stock a bunch of styles and a bunch of sizes. They actually build everything made to order and they do it in batches. And so small batches, which I love. I love small batch boots. I think that's the best, mostly because it's like made to order, it's efficiency. You don't have any boots sitting on the shelf for years before getting shipped off to a customer. There's no waste involved, right? Because Mordon is, is striving for efficiency here and they're trying to use all their materials to send out to customers. And I think that's really smart. And so for that reason, they don't have boots like stocked, just ready to ship to my knowledge at least. And so, yeah, the way that they do it is they do it in batches and the newest batch is opening up later in the month, February, 2022. And so if you're interested, keep your eyes peeled because he's playing around with a lot of different leathers, a lot of different soles. And so keep your eyes peeled for that because That'll be coming soon. 
I'll definitely announce it on my Instagram as well. In terms of sizing, another thing that I wanted to mention was, so these are my Parkhurst in color eight Dublin, and these are size eight and a half. Now, I have kind of gone back and forth in my head whether or not these Parkhurst run true to size. There's a lot of volume in the midsection here, in the quarter area. I kind of liken the sizing, Bordeaux's sizing to Parkhurst sizing. Now, the lasts are gonna be completely different, but in a general sense, I want to say that a half down in Parkhurst, these, for example, these eight and a halfs are probably the smallest eight and a halfs that I have. It's not to say that they're the wrong size. They're definitely not tight. I'm not as inclined to wear these in the winter with like super thick socks, super thick wool socks. For that reason, the Parkhurst, I feel like, I feel like they're almost true to size, if that makes sense, on, on the gradient scale. <laughs> so I could have gone with a nine and been happy with these because I do consider this sort of a lower volume last. Now, same thing with, with these. 41 and a half, eight and a half, and you can see. So going down a half size in the, in the Bordeaux is gonna work. Will I be able to throw this on with super thick socks? I don't think so, but I do think that anatomically this is the correct size for me, if that makes sense. So I'll be able to wear, this will be a more form fitting, this will be more form fitting to my foot. So I could wear this with thinner socks to probably mid-weight socks and be fine. Same with the Parkhurst, eight and a half, thinner to mid-weight socks, and I'm perfectly fine. Now, if I go throw, throw it on like a super thick camp sock, I might get a little pain in my instep. Again, I haven't worn these yet, I'm not sure, but I, I wanna compare the sizing to Parkhurst. So the same way that you size in Parkhurst is the same way I would recommend uh, translating that size over to Bordeaux. So going down a half in Parkhurst, going down a half in Bordeaux, it's gonna fit similarly. And I can tell you that I could also go true to size in both brands and it'll be fine. I'll just wear the larger size with thicker socks and it's fine. I, I hope I articulated that well. And I'm gonna be doing a sizing video talking about volume, high volume lasts, low volume lasts, and how what that means for me. All right, so anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. What do you think of these boots? Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I will leave a link to the Bordeaux website. Stay tuned, sign up for his email so that you can stay up to date on all his new releases. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll be post posting pictures of these as I wear them. My username is LV. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video.